I'm going to show you how to create a form in Google Documents. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is go to the Google homepage. Take that off there. And sign in. I'm assuming you have a Google account already. And that takes you here, which type in your account information. And then it'll show you that your, your name's up there. That'll indicate that you're logged in. And this will be able to bring up all the documents that you have online and you can really store a lot of your things. Documents here that, you know, will not only last a long time on here because it never ever asks you to asks you to delete them, but they'll be available to you wherever, wherever you are. Here's a an example of a Google form that I uh, it's actually for the wiki site. Click it and it uh, brings up all the problems here that people have posted on the site in a spreadsheet. But uh, we're going to want to go back here and create a new one, and I'll show you how to do that. We got new doc. Well, we're going to do a form. So when you do a form, it automatically creates a spreadsheet with it. But you start out with the form here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and title it test form. And then, you know, something to prompt the person. And then, these are the different fields below. A person would type their name in first and that would start putting it uh, into categories. You want to be able to find out who typed what. You type in your sample question, whatever it would be. Could be anything. You know, you, you can skip the help task help text if you want. And then there's different question types here. So you can do a scale question where it's one to whatever and you can change what N is. Or you can do a multiple choice where you give several several different options. Paragraph text a long response, check boxes, choose from a list. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Whatever you do, you, you know, you can make your your question apply better to uh, what you're trying to ask with uh, different format you choose here. You can do some different editing over here. Add more questions. So you have your first test form, and this it's all still editable. Editable. You can add as many questions as you like. You can make it required or not required. And uh, so we just got one sample question here. And we'll save it, and then go ahead and view the published form. So basically we just have a test form, whatever. You put your name in here. And the sample question, you only have one option. I could have put more there, but you can also answer the question however you would. And then when you submit your answer, 